Winston. Oh, hey, I came here to play. So tell, tell me what you need. By gosh, I came to play, and I'm gonna. I think everything's cool here. All right, before we start, it's time for my cheap trick story. Like the six degrees of Kevin Bacon, tonight we are experiencing the six degrees of cheap trick. All right. My story isn't quite like his, but it goes like this. I used to play in a new wave band in another lifetime. And we used to hoist a few beers with the boys in Cheap Trick. They were old buddies of ours. And uh, so one night, we're playing for a band who you may or may not have heard of. Remember the White Animals, who were like one of the biggest bands in Nashville back in the 80s. And we were opening for them. So my brother, who played in my band, ran into Rick Nielsen on the street. And he goes, hey, man, what's going on tonight? And he goes, we're playing over here with the White Animals. Why don't you come down? So he goes to the white animal's doorman and says, uh, put Rick Nielsen on the guest list. And the guy's going, oh, yeah, right. I'm so sure he's going to come here to see you guys about that time. In walks Mr. Nielsen. And we had a grand time that night. I was scared out of my mind. I was going to say another word, but we have children present. But I was scared, you know, because there's you know, somebody out of one of my favorite bands that came, actually came to see us play. So that was fun. So that's my cheap trick story for tonight. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. Actually, I could have had a better cheap trick story, but I was dating somebody at the time. Ah, you know, Robin Zander liked me, but I didn't go for it. One of the biggest mistakes I ever made, I'm sure. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> I came to play. We're going to play anyway. Sun is shining on me today. All my blues have gone away. It's true. Cause I got you. It's magic when you touch my soul. The past no longer has a hold on me. Now I'm free But if you ever sky meets the sea It's where I wanna be Far away from the daily grind With you on my mind With you on my mind Again, a warm embrace, and the night begins. I hope it never ends. Bad view when the sky meets the sea, it's where I want to be. Far away from a daily grind, suspended in time.
Okay, reminds me of your cake story. Here I go again. You just kind of set me up for some commentary here with the same thing. This next song came about because Jack Howell and I were at a club called 12th and Porter, and we were the oldest people in the place, kind of like I felt when I went to see No Doubt. I was definitely with the oldest people there. Then I went to see Rod Stewart a few weeks later, and I was the youngest person there. So I felt good that night, by golly. I went to see Rod Stewart, and I was like, hey, man. I told my brother and his wife, I said, my Lord, these people are older than we are. I love it. We're young, you know, it made me feel good. So we came up with a song called Getting Younger, and of course, most of the stuff I'm going to play tonight's off my CD. So. Got some stories to tell, got some years on my side. Got some aches and pains Gotta take them in stride Seems like everybody Is getting younger these days I'm almost at home anymore In the smoke and the haze And make her mistakes Then she'll make them right And realize that everyone around her Keeps getting younger with this And the smoke in the haze Will disappear Seems like everybody is getting younger these days. Getting younger these days. Getting younger these days. Getting younger these days. Thank you very much. Why, well, yes, I was going to do that later, but I'll do it now <laughs> by request. I like those requests. And it, I haven't been on my computer all week because I've been gone. Oh, I love that. Cool. Come to my site to DonnaFrost.com. Okay, we'll play What If. And I appreciate you putting that up too. And it did, uh, did do well over in Europe on the charts, which I was proud of too. So, And this was based on a true and factual event, a very sad event, but you have to write about these things to get better.
świecie Jest w świecie Jest w świecie Losing you is świecie Oh, thank you so much. People always tend to go for that song, you know? It's not usually, yeah, people say, hey, man, that's one of my favorite songs, or it's my favorite one. The other one that they mention a bit is the one with the children on it, too. Yeah, it is. I might vent. I'm, I might, well, thank you. I'm proud of them all. Well, here's one. I'm, I'm, I'm picking on you a little bit. I'm kind of referring to some of your references earlier. Here's my ode to uh, Love Gone Bad. <laughs> In fact, I'm working on another one right now. So. <laughs> hey, you know, when you want to get some ideas for a song, get in a relationship, then get out. It makes for good music. If you say I loved and lost, I'm still in the game. I still love to play. So here we are, team of the game. Fighting insecurities in the middle of the night. Stitching in vain for what's always been missing. Never out of reach. I say true, that comes naturally. It's the only way to live. Take the road you choose Cause I got a lot to lose Searching in vain For what's always been missing Never out of reach I don't want to go through this again those words before and I'm not Another true story, yes indeed. In fact, yesterday, it was so cool because I've been in town all, you know, in Atlanta all week long, and I went down to Little Five Points yesterday. That was fun. And I met this guy in this gypsy market, and he gave me like several great ideas. He kept talking, and I said, let me get a piece of paper. So I've got like about two, two songs I'm working on right now back in the room that I didn't finish yet, but I'm going to finish when I get back home. And, and uh, I was like, you know, you just never know where you'll get the inspiration. He was giving me some darn good lines. I said, I'll give you a, a writing credit. <laughs> you know? We were just talking about spiritual things, and, uh, and then it just turned into, like, some, some phrases he said that were really cool, and I've got some, a very, very cool song happening. It's kind of autobiographical, but I changed the names to protect the innocent a little bit. But I thought, man, it sounds like, you know, what I'm going through right now. And I was like, great, this and that was great, you know. Just never know where you'll get inspiration. All right, let's play Feels Like Home. Inspired by 
driving to Chicago. Yes. You're going home next week. You're going back to Chicago next week. Oh, I'll be going back in June. Uh, yeah. Oh, because I was originally going to be gone with Skeeter Davis to Jamaica, but she's sick, so I'm not going. Yeah, she's not getting much better, so yeah, so we got invited to go for ten days, and doctor said no for her to go. So I'll, I'll be, I'll be here, I'll be in Nashville, but uh, no. Yeah. All right, I can do that. I can come early anyway. But anyway, here's feels like home. Oh, speaking of song of the week, all right, thank you. All right, yeah. song of the week. I like that. It sounds yeah. Hit song of the week. Yeah, hit bound single. I love that. It makes me feel good. Thank you. Feel good when I hit the road to Chicago. Standing the station for something real. Again, another evolution, another twist, and a lifetime fight. I wasn't really seeking a solution, but that's what I got, and it feels like home. Black time never lets me down. Just look around, it feels like home Give it back, what's been given to me When I'm through, I'll drop back to you And it feels like home Different atmosphere and Look around, it feels like home. Give it back what's been given to me. When I do, I'll try back to you. And it feels like Life is good, isn't it? You know, I was telling so I, I was telling this guy the other day though. I said it's so funny because really I have had my best success uh, with my music since I turned 40, which is really you know because I've been at it for a long time, and it seems like the last couple of years I've been really blessed, and I'm so thankful. I said that's not supposed to happen, right? Life, I saw Cheryl Crow on TV this morning. She goes, 40 is fabulous. And I'm like, that's right, girl. You tell it because she's 40 now, you know. Cheryl Crow's 40. She was on the Today Show. And she goes, she goes, 40 is great. I said, hallelujah, you know, Madonna and all that. See? I know. Any day now. She looks wonderful. Man. 
I saw the video on that too. It's really good. What about the blonde hair though? I just don't know about. Yeah, I just share with blonde hair. It's just something rather not quite. Starting to. Man, I've, I've been waking up with aches and pains for a while. I just ignore them, you know. Yeah, starting to. Yeah, she's she's living in denial. Cher's living in denial. You know, she's had aches and pains. She was married to Greg Allman, honey. She had she had aches and pains. Come on, I feel so sorry for her. All her money, she's had so much. Yeah. Oh man, it must be nice. It must be nice. And then there are types that get on TV whining about how terrible it is to be in show business. <laughs> yeah, right. I just don't have a life anymore. You know? Yeah, right. Come on. Here's a, <laughs> it just cracks me up, you know? Yeah, if I had all that money, I'd love to, like Barbara Mandrell, oh, we're downsizing our house. Did you see her house? She's selling it on eBay. Barbara Mandrell is selling her house on eBay. And they showed it on TV the other night. And it's like, she said, oh, well, Ken and I decided to downsize. Read, I'm not making as much money as I used to, so I need to sell it. That's what she really meant, right? But she said, uh, we want to downsize. Man, you should see it. I mean, it was like the fish tanks as big as this whole side here with all these human, I mean, it was like waterfalls and all this stuff in her house. I have a creek in my backyard. When it rains, we have, you know, standing water out there, you know? That's it. I said, I said, I always say that I live near Johnny Cash. I said, well, actually, not near, but I live about five miles from him. His house is a little bit bigger than mine, you know, just a, just a tad. Johnny Cash. You know. No, he does live near, I mean, he, he lives about five miles from me. I just said, I always say, yeah, Johnny Cash, he's, you've heard one of my neighbors. Well, not actually a close neighbor. He's a few miles down the road. His house is a little bit bigger than mine, you know, just a bit. It's huge. <laughs> With guard. Oh, no, he's got guard shacks and boat docks and all that good stuff. <laughs> anyway, we're going to do another one from my city. Here's a happy song. Getting up on love for good. Said everywhere I could. Every day of my life, you yeah, passing me by. Yeah, I used to live in alone. Life's been tearing on my own. But now you're showing me that it's worth a try. When I look in your eyes, suddenly I'm so alive. Something about you I can't resist I'm letting down my guard Can't believe what I have found Ever since you came around I see the world differently When I look in your eyes Lying in your arms tonight Everything is all so right Feeling your heart beating next to mine So I'd be with you forever That's still not very long It never seems to be quite enough time I'm letting down my guard I can't believe what I have found Ever since you came around I see the world differently When I look in your eyes It's just the way that I am Boy, can I tell you 
How much? How much do you want? I don't know. A few more songs. You can play another hour. That's fine. <laughs> you did. All right. Wow. I like getting those kind of requests. It sure beats. Hey, man, play some Skinner, chick. <laughs> I like getting requests. From I love it when I go in clubs and when, where you have to play other stuff. People say, hey, man, play some of your stuff. And I'm like, thank you. That's what we live for. Because that's, that's like, I, I am so much happier when I'm playing my stuff, like we all are when we write, you know. So, all right, I'll play it again. What the heck? All right, Melissa, you win, Madonna. That's cool. Hey. Song of the week feels like home. What if, you know? Most requested something. That's a good idea. Right, that's a good idea. Thank you. Cool. All right. That's why we do this. It's okay if I do just a few more. 
I mean, I don't want to intrude on your time. Do Just, all do all you want to do. That's fine. Because you're playing too, and this is my my last hurrah in this place. Yeah. So. We close at midnight. Oh, okay. I won't. I won't. I won't. No, I want to hear I, you I, I, guys. I, I want to hear you guys too. I'll just do a few more, and then I'll get the heck out of the way. But I'm, I'm having so much fun. I love this room. Now we're talking. It's a wonderful room. I know. I like the sound and the vibe in here. I tell everybody at home about it. You know, it's just like I, I've been looking forward to coming here all week. So, who cares if they all went to Midtown Music? The heck with them. We're having a good time. We don't need them anyway, you know. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. We're talking about share. We have quality people here. That's right. Well, since it's Friday, I'm going to play a little song. Mudtown. Yeah, it'd be like Woodstock in Mudtown, right? I'm going to play this song called Payday because it's Friday. And it's always, it always is a nice little Friday kind of song. Sun up, get up, get up the door It's a beautiful day just like the day before Same here, same avenue Taking me to Pitt Take a break, catch up, pay how you been Hours in the weekend, loving you, loving what you do, taking me to Pitt. I may be doing time, but this old ninety-five is taking me to Pitt. Like the Caribbean man, yes indeed. Let's see. I'll do another one from the CD. I noticed uh, Mr. McCartney is playing in Atlanta next Sunday on Mother's Day. I was like, yeah, my hero. We got, his song is on my CD. I said uh, everything on there. You should buy one if you don't have one. But most of you already have one. But if you don't, please buy one. Help me and help me pay Paul's Publishing Company. Thank you. I'm not going to play it. No, I was just going to lead up to that he, I think I told the story about sending him a copy. Yeah. Oh, oh yes, I got permission to send it to him. I, yeah, I wrote his people and I said, look, you know, it says no solicited material. But I was like, well, you know, I'd like to send Mr. Sir Paul a copy of the CD because uh, we covered one of his songs and uh, I'm not going to try to pitch me anything. So I said, send it on and... We can't guarantee you that he'll respond to you, but we will send it, you know, to him. So sure enough, about two weeks later, three weeks, I got an email from them with the subject, Feels Like Home, so I guess they were paying attention to what it was. It said our subject feels like home from MPL Communications, and we have given it to him. Like we said, we can't guarantee anything. And I said, hey, that's cool. You know, he might be using it for a beer coaster or something, or he might have just, I don't know, he might have it in a stack to do, but... Somebody told me this week, you ought to go to the concert in Atlanta and go, hey, Paul, did you get my CD? Sit down front, you know, hey, you know. That's cool. And David Cassidy's playing in Atlanta this weekend. How did I get off on this? I saw him on TV this morning. 
I had a crush on him when I was 13. All right. How many of you had a life-size poster of David Castillo on your wall? Show of hands. All right. Yes. <laughs> Kim, did you have a life-size David Castillo poster on your wall? Oh. No. I. Susan, Susan Day. Day. I had, I had like, I had so bad for David Cassidy. I had the biggest crush on him. So he was on TV this morning, and this uh, the lady that was interviewing him was showing him a picture of her when she was in the second grade, and she liked him. I thought, well, that sure had to make him feel good. And I was thinking, well, gee, I was 13, you know. I mean, you know. And he's playing, and his, so, his shows are sold out. Yeah, sold out. Yeah. Oh, I know. Isn't it amazing? I guess he'll be the Wayne Newton of the new millennium or something. I don't know. Rick Springfield is it? I'd rather see Rick Springfield than, than Wayne Newton any day of the week. Thank you very much. I liked, I liked Rick Springfield on General Hospital, too. Dr. Noah Drake. I keep waiting for him to come back to General Hospital, you know. There's a song about that, too. Here's Peace of Heaven. I don't know why, I just wanted to share that with you about David Cassidy. In a day now, I'll be myself. In a day now, you'll recognize. In a day now. Vanity Vanity now I tell you things And then You'll see inside Oh, somehow I know It'll be alright So if I could I Peace of heaven back to you. Isn't that what love is? Isn't that the way? If I could, I'd give a piece of heaven back to you. And you know what for? Give a piece of heaven. All this time I've been wondering Oh, all this time You knew me well Oh, all this time You've been there for me, I know So if I could, I'd give a piece of heaven back to you Isn't that what love is? Isn't that the truth? If I could, I'd give a piece of heaven back to you. Thank you very much.
very much. Thanks. Do a couple of more, and then I'll, I'll exit the stage here. Exit stage left. All right. I don't know why, I just thought I'd pull this one out of the mothballs. We tried to pitch this to Garth Brooks, but his song plugger was too busy pitching us what he'd written, so <laughs> that's about how far it went there. But it was when he, uh, when he was going through his divorce, we'd written, uh, written it for him, David Thomas and I did, but maybe somebody will cut it, or maybe I will someday. But it's called, it won't make any money, as much money, though, as if Garth had to cut it, but that's all right. That's okay, he didn't have to cut my song. Somebody asked me, you play any Garth Brooks songs? I said, no, we have an agreement. I don't do his and he don't do mine. So. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Feel free to use it anytime you want. <laughs> if it weren't for you and me, someplace else we'd be. Instead of standing here, we both disagree. Nonetheless, here we are, wondering how we went this far. My way over how we pushed a shove. Walls apart, broken hearts, shattered lives and played out cards. Such a shame, share the blame. Didn't have to be this way We could win and love again Feel the fashion, feel the need We could make a difference, don't you see? If it weren't for you and me If it weren't for you and me when we love so desperately We could have had a chance To live the fantasy After all the wars and words It seems a bit absurd That everything we had was not enough Walls apart, broken hearts Shattered lives and played out cards such a shame, share the blame Didn't have to be this way We could win and love again Feel the passion, feel the need We could make a difference, don't you see? If it weren't for you and me Nothing left to lose, so much to gain after all, it's us who feels the pain. Walls apart, broken hearts, shattered lives and played out cards. Such a shame, we share the blame. Didn't have to be this way. We could win and love again. Feel the passion, feel the need. We could make a difference, don't you see? If it weren't for you and me If it weren't for you and me If it weren't for you and me Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. All right, this will be my final, final song. And then Greg Wilson's going to play for us. And Donna's going to sing. And Well, it was fun being here. And for uh, one of the last two hours here inside the song, thank you for having me. Thank you for being here. Uh, my pleasure. I love this place. I'm like, I'm just, hmm, it's just so cool. It feels like home. <laughs> I just, notice how I snuck that in there. Subliminal. My CD. Song of the Week. This is a new one. It'll be on my new album. This is called Lila. And I um, hope you enjoy it. Thanks again. It's been fun. Thank you. She always wants 
up staying late She never thinks twice about it Plastic smile and a drunk for a date She's beginning to doubt it Always coming up short on change Anyway, oh la 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 You're burning down You don't need this town It ain't no good for you La 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 You're burning down We don't need this town Till she looked back at herself She had to learn how to believe In the grace of God in her living hell Never could admit to being caught in a trap In a way, oh la 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 Donna Frost. Thank you very much. Thank you, Winder, Georgia. Did you name that song about after a while the quarterback? No, it's not after a while the quarterback. I don't know why Jack came up with that name. Yeah. General Hospital. I, I kind of lost interest in it. Yeah, you don't need this town. That's right. I could work for Lila Company. Anyway, it should have been more like, yeah, yeah, for Lila. Actually, it could have been Erica Kane.